Hi everyone, Daniel Bogdanoff here. I was playing around with my new power supply in a Raspberry Pi and I was curious to see if there was any correlation between the boot process of the Raspberry Pi and the power it consumed. So let's use my new power supply to see what happens as the Raspberry Pi boots. So the plus and minus of channel one are hooked up to the GPIO power pins on the Raspberry Pi. And I'm gonna go ahead and plug in the USB power supply spec. So that should be five volts and 500 milliamps. And one thing I'll say, I really love the GUI on this power supply. So when I first got the power supply, I was a little concerned because power supplies aren't really known for having fantastic GUIs, but a dedicated voltage and current knob, and then you can go through and select and change those. Um, you can also use the built-in keypad. So five volts, 500 milliamps. I'm gonna type in 0.5 and enter. And this should be the USB spec, so I expect that the Raspberry Pi will boot up fully from here. Let's go ahead and also set up a data logger which is built into this. And I'm gonna go in and select just voltage and current and the calculated power for channel one. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my data logger and I'm gonna turn on power for channel one and we're gonna see, it looks like my monitor just flashed on, my LEDs are flashing on the Raspberry Pi, so it's starting to boot up. And we can see the power consumption spiked pretty high at the beginning there. And as my display is on and off, it looks like my power is toggling. So I can see right away my Raspberry Pi is taking up more power when the display is on. And there's also some wobble in there, so I expect that's processor heavy stuff. But looking at this, and I had it set to run for about a minute, it really looks like when it's driving the display, it's using the most power. So boot up seems pretty low power, and then I expect when it's a normal operation, it's just gonna continue uh, sucking power kind of at a normal rate. So I'm running the data logger again, and it looks like in this idled, booted up state, the Raspberry Pi is just pretty neutral. And while I'm here, a couple other cool things I really like about this power supply. One of the things is the meter view, so it gives me a little more information on whatever channel I'm using. If I go into channel two, it's gonna pop that up. It also does auto, serial, and parallel power. So if you wanna combine the power capabilities from channel one and two, often you'd have to do some sort of post connections. This does it all in the hardware, so you can just select the setting and get uh, basically double the power from those two channels combined. So that's all for today. I know that was pretty quick, so if you wanna learn more about testing with a power supply, check the link in the description and there'll be an end screen. It, you can download a free guide to speed up your test with an upgraded bench power supply. It's a great app note, has some great tips, whether or not you're using the E3612A like I am. So go check out that app note. Also make sure you subscribe to the Keysight Oscilloscopes YouTube channel and the General Purpose Instruments also have their own YouTube channel, so we'll promote them in the end screen as well. You can check out some tips there's a series on DAX going on right now. Also on the General Purpose Instruments YouTube channel, there's a teardown of this power supply series. They take a look at the big old toroidal transformer in the middle. It's, it's pretty beefy to check it out. Pretty cool video. I'm Daniel Bogdanoff and I'll see you next time.